I hope you guys are ready for episode two of Pimp My Design. Because here it comes. What is up everybody? My name is Ronnie. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving deep into the second episode of Pimp My Design. Pimp My Design is this show where we take one of the designs submitted to us by a member of our community and we try to improve on it. We try to use that design as a starting point to teach you a thing or two about effective design, but also showing you my thought process of how I'm doing some improvement on this design. So today we are going to work with this specific design right here submitted to us by Nitin. So Nitin is from India, I presume, and uh, he is submitting this poster. So it is a poster for a travel agency. So the poster says Shyam Tour and Travels and then Rajasthan we are coming soon. New branch opening. Your trust is our support. Always providing you with best hotels and flight rates. And we have a couple of photos. We have a pin here with a kind of like a street address in Jaipur. Phone number, an email address and a physical address in Kolkata. So this is the information I received from Nitin on this design. So I will let you know a little bit later in the episode how you can submit your own designs. But for now, this is what I received via the Google form. From that information, my understanding of this poster is that Shyam Tour and Travels is a travel agency. They are opening up a new branch or a new destination in Rajasthan. They are originally located in Kolkata based on the address right here. So they are opening up a new agency or a new destination in Rajasthan. We are coming soon. We have the Namaste hands right underneath Rajasthan here that I really like this part of the design, kind of a symbol of saying welcome or hi or like greetings in the Indian culture. So this is very like a nice symbol that I would like to keep in the design probably. And then all this information, we have some photos here, but let's start analyzing. So I have identified three design principles that I believe we could work on to improve this design. The first one is consistency. I believe this design could be more consistent, consistent with different things, consistent with the fonts. For example, we have different fonts here. Let's count them. So we have Leek Spartan, we have Czech, we have another check. This one is Arimo, so that's three. This one is check, so that's still three. Arimo, that's still three. What is this one right here? Arimo and Arimo. So we have three different fonts. One, right. two, and three. Okay, but they are used in different styles as well, in different colors and different font weights. So this design seems like it actually uses more than three different fonts, but in my opinion, this is too much and it doesn't make the overall design look consistent. So that's my first point, that is the fonts. The second thing we should probably improve to make this design more consistent is the consistency in terms of the visuals. Because I've been to Rajasthan and I've been to Jaipur, I've been to Udaipur, I've been to different places in Rajasthan, but I don't recall having such like luxurious mountains and green mountains like we can see on this picture right here. Let me zoom in on these photos so we can see really. I don't recall having such landscapes in Rajasthan. For me, Rajasthan was pretty dry and a hot weather. I don't recall this. So I, I doubt this photo is actually Rajasthan. If it is, I'm completely sorry for my ignorance, but I don't believe this is Rajasthan. Then we have a kind of a generic plane landing or plane taking off. I do understand it's for representing that it's travel or travel agency. Then we have this one right here might be in Rajasthan not completely sure it's also quite generic and then we have this photo in the background that could be Rajasthan I don't know it could be Rio de Janeiro it, it could be different things really what I do know is that it's not a very inviting photo for a travel agency when you travel to a destination this is not like the idealistic idea of like holidays for me this looks like a big city without any particular landmark or touristic attraction. So I, I'm not sure. Okay, let me zoom back to fit my screen and fill my screen. All right, so that is consistency. Consistency in terms of the font, consistency in terms of the images, and probably in terms of the messaging as well. I need my message to work 
consistently with the design. Okay, so if it's a travel agency, we need to understand that. We need to understand we are opening up a new destination and it needs to be clearer. The second design principle, I think we should work on this design is balance. This design is not very well balanced. It's out of balance, I would say. There is a lot of elements going on here. There is repeating this shape three times, which is not particularly super engaging like this number of repetition and then we have a lot of information here in different sizes which doesn't make the whole design balance there's a lot going on here there's not so much going on here and then again here like it's there's no proper layout so i i would say we work on the layout we try to structure the information in a different way and then the third design principle that i believe we should work on is visual grouping so grouping the information in such a way that it makes sense when i read certain blocks of information together i think this will also help the reader faster read this design faster understand what it is about all right so let's uh, jump into canva and let's start making some improvement to this design okay so the first thing i'm going to do just like i did in the first episode of pimp my design if you haven't watched that i will have a card here on top so you can watch this as well and we'll start a playlist on the channel so you can watch all of them if you are into this the first thing i would do is to rescue the information the text that I want to keep, the things that I believe are important. What is the most important sentence on this design? I believe the most important text box is Rajasthan. I'm going to ungroup everything so I can work with the information. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Rajasthan here and paste it on a blank page. Okay, so copy this, control C. I'm going to change the background for a darker background, like so, and just paste the information in the order that I believe is the most important. So I'm creating hierarchy here, which is super important in design as well. You need to know exactly what you want your reader to read first, second, and third. So the first thing is probably Rajasthan. What is the second most important thing? Well, I believe the second most important thing is the name of the travel agency. So Shiam Tour and Travels. So I'm going to paste that as well. So it's pasting on the exact same position it is on the first document. Next is probably we are coming soon because it indicates that we are opening a new destination for this travel agency. So I'm going to use that, but I don't really like the sentence we are coming soon maybe rajasthan opening soon so i'm going to change we are coming soon for opening soon and this should be slightly smaller than this so what i'm doing by reducing the size is i'm making a statement in terms of hierarchy so rajasthan is the most important piece of information making it bigger shiam tours and travel is the second one and then opening soon is the third one so now this is kind of setting the tone for the design. Your trust is our support. This is probably a tagline from the business. I don't think it is necessary for understanding these posters. Always providing you with best hotels and flight rates. This is, in my opinion, pretty important as well because that's kind of like the value proposition, right? So it is important always providing you with best hotel and flight rates. Okay, what I could do here in an attempt to make things easier to digest and group. I just deleted, we are always providing you with, because what really matter here in this sentence is best hotel and flight rates. So I'm gonna keep this. And then of course we have this block here, which is basically the contact information of the travel agency. So Shiam Tours and Travel, that's kind of like the information that goes with it. And then we have the best flights and travel. Let's resize some of this information. I'm gonna zoom in a bit like so, and I'm going to resize some of these things for now. I might be changing the way they look at some point. I'm not sure. Let's just keep it like so, something changed here. I'm gonna delete this. Not sure what was. I'm going to zoom back out to see my entire page so we have all the information rajasthan opening soon best hotel and flight rates shiam tours and travel and then the information the address of this other location in jaipur is kind of confusing why is there two addresses is that the new location they are opening maybe they are opening an agency I'm not sure and i don't believe it is super important if it is important we should swap it in this address why having an address in Kolkata if we're talking about an agency in, in Jaipur? So for the sake of this design, I'll just ignore this information and focus on the rest. Okay, I have rescued my text information. So this is my text information. I've worked on the hierarchy to give some priority and indicate to the reader 
what is important, what you should process first, second and third. The next thing I'm going to do is to start working on the visuals. Also, I said that I like this Namaste hand, so I'm going to grab that as the first thing I want to keep in my design. OK, so let's see if I can work with this or if I need to find another Namaste hand. But for now, what I would like to do is to start looking for an inspiration. Basically, I see a bunch of photos here. I'm not satisfied with these photos. I don't think they embellish the design. They are just there because you want to represent traveling. I understand that it's not properly representing Rajasthan. So let's see if we can do better. All right. So I'm going to start by searching for templates in the templates tab right here. And I'm going to find some travel posters because this is a travel agency and uh, Canva has this wonderful library that just like gives you tons of ideas. So why not tap into them? So here I can see a bunch immediately of travel templates. I see two here online travel around the world. So this is not too bad. Actually, let me use this page right here. I kind of like the idea of having these illustration to help us represent travel. You see, we have like different illustrations in some sort of a circle right there. And then we have something in the foreground on a nice gradient background. So this could definitely work. I wonder if I can reproduce something similar to this by finding illustration, maybe representing traveling in Rajasthan. And then we could have here the phone here. Let me get rid of a few things. Okay, so this is actually a one piece design, like a one piece illustration, but I can probably reproduce this instead of someone holding the phone I could have the namaste hand so let's see if I can do something like that I'll keep that here I keep this search for posters travel posters here in case I need it but for now I'm up to an idea which is to visually represent traveling in Rajasthan through a bunch of different animations so I'm going to start searching in the elements for Rajasthan and see what I can find so immediately I see some designs here and let me come back to this page. I'm going to put this up. I see this, which is nice. This does represent Rajasthan. It looks more like Rajasthan to me than the luxurious green kind of like selva. All right. So this could work. Actually, what I'm going to do with this, you can see some camels here and some forts. There are forts, if I remember correctly, in Jaipur and Udaipur. So this is pretty nice. We have stars. This is actually a good visual that I could use to create that shape. You see kind of like a round shape going on here. And I like the roundness of this. So let's keep this, but let's keep searching for Rajasthani icons here. I like this little hat, like kind of like a Maharaja hat. I'm going to bring that up to my design as well. What else do we have? There's a lot of elephants in Rajasthan. Can I find some nice elephants? I'm going to sort these graphics by graphics. Oh, I like this bird as well. So let's bring that up. I need something that is consistent. So I need to keep this consistency going by finding an elephant. Let me see if I can find Indian elephant in my graphics. There are lots of elephants, which is a good sign. Need something ideally in bright colors. OK. I'm going to try one last thing, searching for pink elephant in graphics. Give me a pink elephant. Lots of pink. Oh, that's a nice pink elephant. I guess this is much more consistent with the rest of my graphics here. OK, I have three graphics. I think this could work. What I'm going to do is to rearrange them on this design. OK, so first I'm going to move them to the side to see if I want the cameras on this side or on the other side. I think I'm going to flip this image horizontally like so. And second thing, I want to have this Maharaja hat like so and maybe push it behind. Yes, behind this visual right here. I'm going to bring all of this information down a bit. This as well. OK, so I like this. I like how this is positioned now, kind of like semi hidden. OK, next, I'm going to use this bird and equally like I'm going to flip this. So I'm creating a little bit of balance on the design by having elements in different places. And this elephant should be slightly bigger than the camels. OK, this looks pretty decent. All right, I have this. Now I need to represent some traveling idea. Like I, this is good for Rajasthan, but now I want to represent, if you can see here on this illustration, we see landmarks like the Eiffel Tower, 
and the crest from Rio de Janeiro, but there are also some traveling symbols like the plane, the balloon, and the suitcase. So I'm gonna search for some travel icons. Let's see, yeah. So a plane taking off or travel doodles, I like the handwritten travel doodle. Let's search for graphics. Yeah, this is interesting. This as well, a map for a plane really. So let's say plane doodle. I don't want it animated. I want this entire design to be still. Okay, I'm gonna add a keyword, plane travel. So now I have more stuff. I like this with the heart here. Let me bring that up. I'm gonna bring this plane with the heart. I think we can use that to add some fun to the design. Okay, so obviously not in black. I want to move this to white and I like how this plane is making a heart and we could use the plane to point to a specific part of the design. I'm gonna leave it here now. I want to play with the extremity of the design here, the heart thing. It has a rounded end to it. I could use that exactly here at the center of this Maharaja like gem, something like that. So I'm gonna leave it like so and work on some other things. I kind of want a very nice gradient for the back of this, kind of like this one, really like this gradient. So I'm gonna see if I can find a gradient. But before I do, what I need to do to insert a gradient correctly on a Canva poster like this is to insert a grid. So I'm gonna click on the background and search in my elements for a grid. So grid and grids are kind of like super frames that are super big and they will cover my entire design you see now it's here in the background so it's beneath everything else and it's ready really to receive my gradient so that it covers the entire design so next still under elements i'm going to search for gradient and just try to find the right gradient under photos so photos trying to find a nice gradient in the blue colors this is nice so this was kind of like what I was searching. I'm going to use that and see how it works. Okay, I see that I have a nice lighter blue at the bottom, but I have this kind of thing here that I don't really like. So what I could do is to move all of this slightly down. Okay, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to move things around a bit and see how I can adjust this design for now and then I will rework obviously a lot of these parts okay so now I have all of these this is good I still need quite a bit of space here for my business detail information so I need to make sure I have enough space here for all of that but for now that's not too bad another way I could have done this is by double clicking on my grid and zooming in so I could zoom in I guess like so moving upwards till a little bit actually i could do like so so now i have this nice degrade in the sky which is nice i don't quite like the white part here let me see if i can get rid of that i can make this slightly bigger all right and now i got rid of the white part perfect now let's see what we do with the namaste hands here so let's be careful once you have a grid in the background you see i'm just like right now i'm holding my click so i have the namaste hands in my like selected, I'm moving them around, but I'm holding my mouse click. If I drop it now, see, it's gonna snap into the grid. So you want to hold your command key or control key on the PC while you are holding your click. And then first you release your click, and then you release command. Of course, here it's underneath all the other stuff. So I'm gonna push it to the front so I can see it. Let's make this way bigger. And again, holding command, need to make sure I'm actually moving the right piece of element here. This is kind of the idea I had, like Namaste Rajasthan, we are coming to this new destination. Can I use this Namaste hand? I mean, that could work, but the colors are slightly off. So one thing I can do is to try to find some more of these graphics in the library. You see, I use the eye here for information to try to get more information about this design, this element. Couldn't find any because this is something Nitin actually uploaded into Canva. So what I'm going to do is to search in the elements category for Namaste hands and see if I can find some. Yes, I can find some. I'm gonna search this for with graphics and see if I can find something that would fit more nicely with the color scheme of my design. So I have some basic ones. I don't want any emoji type of hands. This is too bland. I like that that woman has the bangles. Indian women wear a lot of bangles and that's 
something I want to keep in the design if possible. Let me find some Namaste hands, Namaste India. I have this, so this is the same one. Okay, so it, it is from the library. Can I find more of this? See more like this? Oh, that's nice. I have a lot of different like Indian type of visuals here. And I saw another Namaste hands. Yes, here. Let me see. Okay, so this is slightly better. It's not perfect yet. Also, I prefer this cut here at the bottom. There's no shadow. I can work with this. So we could use it like so, but I have actually a better idea. So one thing I want to do, I want to delete all of this for now. Actually, I'm going to add a page, push this one and bring my hands here. So I'm going to show you a trick. I want to add an effect to this image. I can't use the Canva effect button or edit image button because it's not showing up because this is not a photo, it is an element, probably a vector element. So what I will do is to export this page as a PNG with a transparent background. I can do this because I have Canva Pro. I'm going to use this page, which is page three of my design. I'm gonna download this, all right? So this is page number three, PNG and transparent background, yes. So I'm going to grab it here from my downloads and pop it directly in my uploads. And I'm good with this page, I can delete it. And now I have my hands, but you can see the edit image button is here because now Canva consider this as a photo, which actually will let me do some color correction on this thing. So. If I go to edit photo, I can adjust the brightness, I can adjust the contrast, and I can adjust the saturation. I could, for example, use it in black and white if I want to. But I think what I really want to do is to use some duotone effect on it. So I can try to blend it in the colors of my visual. So I have some peppermint effect here, I have mystic. Let's try peppermint and see how this looks. So this is actually pretty nice. I'm going to try mystic. One or the other could work. I'm gonna go with Mystic, it has less colors and apply. All right, so I was able to apply this duotone effect to my Namaste hands here because I exported it and re-uploaded it as an image into Canva. So it gives me access to the photo editing options of Canva. Now I have this, I'm pretty happy with this. My elements here are looking good as well. The flight, let me grab this plane and try to adjust to the perfection, this alignment here now with the gem. I want to make sure we can see the flight. It's still pointing up, so that's good. That's really good. Let me zoom back out to fit my page. Okay, so this is where we are at the moment. We have the elephant, we have the cameras, we have all of this stuff looking pretty good. I want to make a kind of a cleaner cut here. What do we do with the hands here? So. What I'm going to do is to simply crop and make it fit like so. Okay, this is now perfect. I'm good with this. Now, let's work on the rest of the design. We are almost there. All we need to do is to adjust a few of the styling options here, maybe reducing the number of fonts and making the title pop more and then work on this lower section. All right, I'm just taking a second here to let you know if you want to submit your design to this show, Pimp Mind Design, if you want your design to be pimped by me, I can probably do that. And what you have to do is to use our link in the description to the Google form. So I have created a Google form for you. It looks like this. So you just have to fill up the information here. Make sure you watch this video. I received a lot of links that are not editable links. They're just view links, so I cannot work with the view links because I need to be able to get into Canva and manipulate your information. So the video here is like 30 seconds. I made this to show you how you can send me the proper link. So ideally you send me a template link of your design so I'm not modifying the original. So there will be a link to this form in the description of the video. If you want a chance for me to have a look at your design and review it, this is how you do it. Now back to the design. All right, let's finish this design. We have a good start here. I'm gonna group all of this so I'm sure it all moves together now and it doesn't move all of a sudden and then, oh, what did I do? No, it's grouped. Let's work on the first piece of information, which is Rajasthan. Okay, I don't like this font. Well, it's not too bad, but I think we can do more legible. So bolder, like fatter font. So let's search for another font. And I think I knew one that was pretty good, which is 
cooler extra bold i want to use this i want to make this slightly bigger this is the most important piece of information on this design so let's use this registan opening soon i like this other font for opening soon this kind of works well together with the first one wonder if i can do slightly bigger even and i'm going to use the position button to center this is nice what if i used an effect on the text and use some curved text to kind of continue the idea of like having this round shape here so to do this i'm going to play around with the curve probably not curve too much but slightly something like so maybe and i'm going to rotate slightly to create a bit more balance it seems to me that it was too much tilted to towards the left but now it looks good and probably need to push this down a bit and i'd like to see if i can add another effect to add some interest to this title for example echo i like that and you see here in echo i have the offset let's not make it too much but slightly so it kind of reproduces the different layers i see here but it's white at the moment can i change the color here yes i can so maybe see if i can recall some of the colors of this blue here on the word rajasthan and if I use more offset and maybe a slightly different direction, something like that looks pretty nice, to be honest. Let's play around with different colors, something like so, maybe probably even lighter to make it pop slightly more like so. Okay, I'm happy with this, pretty happy with this actually. Let's move this down slightly more. We have Rajasthan opening soon. Okay, now we need to work on this part right here. We have the different icons. We have colors. This is not too bad, actually. I like the suitcase. I like the line and how they structure the information. Like So this is where visual grouping becomes important. I want to group. And I do believe Shyam Tours and Travel is still a very important piece of information on this design. So I want to keep that. And also best hotel and flight rates. But how do I insert that nicely into my design? How do I keep that maybe? by having it big here and this will need to become smaller this could work now how do i make this pop more so basically the information will be something like this so shiam tours and travel the address and then best hotel and flight rates and then all of a sudden i have a lot of space here on the top so i can push it up slightly so i have more space at the bottom for the rest of it or what i could do is to simply select these two guys here group it and push them up slightly not too much i don't want it to be completely like touching or even close to the border but now i have more space i've created more white space in this design it's starting to look very good to be honest so let's see how we can wrap this up by finishing nicely here at the bottom this section with the information Xi'an tours and travel so it seems to me that Nitin used this orange color quite a bit and we have some orange in the design as well so I made sure to select elements that were kind of like in the continuation of this orange color that has some consistency with the color so I want to continue this in one way to make the sentence Shiam tour and travel pop is to use that orange color so let's see if I bring in a shape so I'm gonna search in my elements for shape and yes let's see how I can bring that shape what kind of shape first kind of like the rounded edges rectangle that could work something like that not too wide i'm going to use the right color first so i want kind of like this color the color orange here of this feather so would that be the color that's a little bit too intense so that would be kind of like in between that so more yellow in that orange so i'm going to play around with the colors here something like that yes so that is nice okay now using this shape here with my text maybe what i should do is to change the color i'm gonna try white see how this works all together shiam tours and travel not too bad what is this font right here league spartan well that's a problem because i wanted to reduce my number of fonts now i have already two fonts here so it needs to be either check or Kula. So let's see Kula. Kula Extra Bold, Shiam Tours and Travel. Yes, this could work. And I can probably reduce the size of this thing right here as well. So I'm gonna make sure these text boxes are not longer than they should be. I'm just seeking alignment here. Okay, I'm gonna group these two. One way I could use that is to put it on top of the line. 
and so it creates this separation. Mm, you know what? I can try something. I'm gonna add a line by pressing my L key and I'm gonna make this about this wide. Okay, making sure it's the entire length of the visual and I'm positioning it exactly. Let me zoom in for that. You see, Canva Assist Me is telling me this is exactly where it needs to be and I can fit. And of course the line needs to be pushed backwards. And I'm going to use my same color. Okay, now I've created a separation in this design and I can, I have the rest of the space here to really work on my visuals. So this is probably a bit too much. I can push everything down like so. Okay, this is not too bad actually. Shiam Tours and Travels, I have created the separation. I have kept the color. I have highlighted the name of the company. Best hotels and flight rates. So this is not completely satisfying for me. This part here of the design. So what I'll do is to change the color of this to black, maybe a dark blue like so. This could probably be dark blue as well, but let me first make sure, yes, Arimo, there's no way Arimo is sticking in my design. So nice catch, but I need to change this for one of my document fonts. So it needs to be either Czech or Kula. Let me see how it looks with Czech. No. So Kula, let's use Kula Light. Yes, Kula Light is much better. I'm going to use that and simply use my paint roller button here and I'm going to go for a darker color so it's more legible simply like so there's nothing wrong with the icons so I can keep them though let's be careful about consistency here for the whatsapp button so maybe I find another whatsapp icon okay uh, I need this it's to be in my orange color you see like there was a little problem that we have like a white filling the other icons don't have that so for the sake of consistency need to get rid of that find a consistent icon all right so now this is good what i'm going to do i'm going to group each of these lines because i want them to be perfectly spaced so that's me being kind of like a perfectionist i reckon but so position now that i group them individually i want them vertically like evenly spaced this is good the last thing i want is this part right here so this could be a problem so one way of dealing with this would be to split this information into two columns so i'm going to put this here for now and i'm going to bring this one here what i can do i will ungroup this because this is kind of long i could probably break it into two lines like so so i'm going to push this down and similarly I'm going to bring this one down to like so and i'm going to iron some line space here so for this i'm going to go to spacing and line space if i want to be perfectly precise like i like to be i'm just going to pull my rulers and guides here so if you don't see them on screen go to your file button and make sure show rulers and show guides is ticked so you'll see these guys now what i'm going to do is to bring a guide and put it here on top of one of the two pieces of information and so I know that the other one right here needs to touch the line as well like so so we have this now I'm gonna group these two as well push them back there's a fly trying to get into my mouth and I don't want that no way you're getting into my mouth all right so this is what I have I have my guides here showing me the alignment I'm gonna zoom back out to see what I'm doing now I want to select all of this text and have it pretty much in the middle like so and I'm also going to push it down slightly but not too much because I need some space for this part of the text so I'm gonna zoom back to fit my screen like so I'm gonna get rid of the guide so to get rid of a guide just pull it out of the screen all the way to the bottom or to the top now let me zoom back in okay I need to deal with this part and I'd love to have a little line like we had here so I just use the L key to create a line and I'm just going to bring it here. This line should probably be in white. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm going to make that wider. I just noticed an imperfection on my design. This line right here needs to be bigger because you see the rounded edges. I don't want that. I want this to be a straight line. So now this needs to be in the middle, in the center, like so. And the information needs to be at the right distance from the line okay i'm going to group this one 
bring it slightly closer and this is looking pretty good now there's just this one last thing here how do i deal with this last sentence i could add another shape behind it that could work let's try so i'm ungrouping this Control c Control v this shape right here let's see if this works i'm gonna push it backwards it needs to be bigger like so and now i want to make sure these two things are completely centered in the line so selected them all by starting my selection from outside of the design so it's easier for me to grab them both and then position center middle okay so that's pretty good i'm going to group and use a different color here like white now i have this which is not too bad maybe i can pull this up slightly best hotel and flight rates now it's time for me to zoom out to see the entire design and it looks pretty good i have to say yeah this is actually pretty good i'm very close to finishing this design maybe one last thing i could do is to use that suitcase that i liked so i'm gonna instead of copy paste I'm just going to bring it here make this bigger i'm gonna tilt it here on the side of the design see if i can use that to cover slightly part of it this actually looks good all right i think i'm gonna leave it here for this design this is the before and after i think we did a pretty good job at transforming this poster it doesn't look much like the original but i do think the message is much stronger now we kept the original essence of it with the colors, with the information, the hands, the namaste hands concept, the address here, which is quite important because obviously as a business, you want to be calling, you want to be reserving and booking your next holidays in Rajasthan. So this is what I have. We worked on three design principles. First is consistency. We reduce the number of fonts from three and three plus, I would say, because different font weight, different colors to two. Now we have cooler, extra bold and we have check these are the only two fonts we are using so this increases consistency we increase consistency in terms of the visuals we use we got rid of the photos and we're using more of an illustration type of elements but it creates consistency also consistent with the theme of rajasthan which is more like desert forts elephants a lot of colors maharajas like all of this is now represented in this poster so it's visually more consistent in terms of styles also i made it simple more simple like less font less noise so that's the first design principle the second one is balance we created a layout for this design like you start reading here you start reading rajasthan opening soon and then you progressively go down and read the other information so not only did we create a layout but we also created hierarchy and i grouped all the business information about shiham tour and travels at the bottom of the poster then i just added a few touch like the plane and the heart and the suitcase in white color to add some accents but yeah this is how it looks like i hope you guys like this transformation this improvement thank you nitin for submitting your design we'll be in touch with you to let you know we have actually featured your design thank you for submitting go ahead and submit your design right now like if this is your thing if you want my opinion unfortunately i cannot review them all but i try to go through them all and discover them at least and select the ones that i believe would make a good episode so use the form in the description below submit your designs make sure there are editable links so i can work with them and if you like this episode give us a like like smash the like button so that the youtube algorithm knows that you like this content and it continues to serve it to you so by all means, if you're not yet subscribed, you know what to do. This is the red button. I'm out of here and I will see you in the next video.